Do you remember when Jesus said to the teachers of the law and the Pharisees when they brought in an adulterous woman? Whichever one of you has committed no sin may throw the first stone at her. Have you ever wondered why no one cast the first stone? And what does the Bible mean that they tried to trap Jesus? And what on earth did he write in the sand that day? Well, check out my other video titled, What Did Jesus Write in the Sand? to find out. Okay, so let's dive right into this because it's more than just a clever response. In the 21st century, many people use this famous cast the first stone line. In fact, some people are so literal that they believe no one should ever judge another sin. But Jesus isn't saying, no one has the right to judge sin. Well, what exactly is he saying then? Well, first, notice that the teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought the adulterous woman to him to trap him with their question. You see, on the one hand, they said, the law of Moses demands that the adulterous woman be put to death. Hmm. Why then wouldn't Jesus just say, okay, put her to death? Now, yes, it's true that there is a compassion element here, but it's not merely that, it's much more. You see, in those days, Israel was under Roman rule. And under Roman rule, no one was allowed to put anyone to death other than the Roman Empire. Otherwise, it would have been viewed as murder. So you see, on one hand, if Jesus says, okay, stone her, then he would be breaking the Roman law. And on the other hand, if he says, don't stone her, then he is in violation and contradiction of the law of Moses. Hmm. Well, Jesus appears to be in a pickle. They are surely about to make a fool of him, aren't they? Well, watch what happens next. Jesus stands up from writing on the ground and says, He who is without sin, cast the first stone. Jesus just reversed the whole thing on them and put them in a pickle. He was basically saying, Oh, you leaders of Israel who profess to be without sin, go ahead and cast the first stone. But they couldn't because of Roman rule. And by turning and walking away, Jesus was forcing them to make a public admission that they were, in fact, with sin even if they still didn't think so. What's even more amazing is when you find out what Jesus was probably writing in the sand that day, he was firing back on two or three or four different levels. So the answer to the question was probably elementary for Jesus. Well, if you like this video, please feel free to share with a friend, click the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.